Welcome back, guys, to Unfiltered Convos. I am Marky. And I'm JR. And we will be recapping Summer House Martha's Vineyard. And how did you find this episode? Um, I'm going to rate this episode like uh, eight and a half, thereabout. It was mm-hmm. somewhat okay. I mean, it was somewhat okay. I mean, there was dynamics. There was problems. There was people who pissed me off. And so it was all eventful, this episode. So I'm here to like just get into it. How about you? What do you think? How much um, you rate it? A seven. A seven? seven? Oh my damn. Um, for me, I need Natalie to go home. Like, first yeah, of all, like, I don't know how she she's home? even still there until the season finale. Don't know. And everybody packed their bags and went to the airport. I don't know why she's right. still there. All the couples left. Yeah. And she's then, just still there stirring the pot. <laughs> yeah. And then Bria. I'm just sick and tired of Bria. Like, I know she's young and everything, but it's like she keeps on showing her childish behavior. I mean, she kind of sound a bit mature this episode. I ain't gonna lie. As it comes on to her and Simon, it was a bit. She yeah, was when they in had a the confessional outside. When they had yeah. a conversation outside, not in the night when Amir was there. I'm talking about when they discussed the whole racism thing and everything. Like that. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I understand where she's coming from. But prior to that, I was like, "What is the matter with you? Like, you're just the just night of the party, out in a flamingo outfit. Yeah. So you want to end the relationship? Even her friend on the phone said it's a bit extreme to pack him and send him to an air to send him to a hotel. He flew from Germany." Oh. Yeah. And came all the way here. So even her own friend or whoever she called on the phone said to her that <laughs> that was a bit extreme. But, I think it was yeah. it, the, the the flamingo outfit was not the only thing. I think that was just the last straw for her. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she has been as she as we saw in the latest yeah. scene where she said that there was and that was a thing. As we get into that, um, we saw where she said sure. that for for Simon. When they were in Germany, they pretty much, um, she ex- um, experienced racism and yeah. he did not see it. And to have a real conversation with you, I think Simon is just likes the idea of be dating a black girl, but I don't think he really knows what black people really. I don't think, I, I don't think he really does. Know. And Yeah, because like... from this convo, I could tell based on what she said. And his main <clears throat> problem is not listening. He don't, I don't think his ears are plugged in. He don't listen because yeah. she be saying stuff like, these are like important stuff that you need to be listening to because he's mm-hmm. not listening. And aside yeah. from like, you don't know how to read the room. Aside from not be not knowing how to be around like people of color, <laughs> I don't feel like he knows how to read the room because that no. Flamingo outfit was numb. Um, and yeah, I know he like, was like, oh, I was go, having um, fun. Like, no. Yeah, and I think this is why <laughs> she now, which we understand why she was frustrated because we see that you were frustrated because you have experienced this situation with him where yeah. he does not observe when someone maybe is being disrespectful, disrespectful yeah. to you. He does not observe when you are getting racial slurs yeah. and this is like a build up, build up basically. And I'm think that she may have had these converse cause she seems like someone who points out these stuff early. She, yeah. I feel so like she, she does. Probably had these converse with him already. And it's like the same reoccurring thing. And then she probably said again to him, do not wear this outfit to the party. And he still came downstairs in the outfit. So it's like another thing added on to why yeah. she was annoyed. But, um, for Bria though, I I know she's young. I don't remember how old she is. But she's like she's 28. Yeah. yeah. So I know her mindset is not necessarily comes from a more mature standpoint when she's having these conversations. It just always comes off like she's throwing a tantrum. Yeah. And I think this is where her message get lost because it always comes off like she's throwing a tantrum. Like she says what she says and she storms off. And then she reacts quickly. And then yeah. when someone has to sit her down or maybe when she's sober, that is when she's like more zen 
And this is where after a while, it's like the same trick over and over and people just get tired of it. True. That's true though. Yeah. Hmm. Um, we also saw where the girls were outside. It was Bria, Shanice, Noel, and Natalie. Don't know why Natalie was on the out there, I feel but like she, was she just there. insert herself. I don't know to be a part of the cool kids. Yeah. <laughs> but for Natalie, um, she sat there. She she digested the information. She I can give her credit though. She did say while they were out there that she would bring it up to the girl. Just to let her aware, so she's not blindsided, and she says she's friends with the girl. But she so, should, she was supposed to be able to take a hint. First of all, I didn't know that they were that much of a friend. It's still confusing to me, though. I know, but so, it's still confusing to me, though. And why I would say that, aside from that, before, let me backtrack a little bit because I was saying like she was supposed to take a hint when. Even though they were talking about it, that's the girl thing, girls thing. They they'll have conversation, they'll talk about stuff. They might say use different one and two words, and it might sound a different way. And someone outside of their, their little group, their girls group, it might sound a certain way. But like when Natalie suggested to like bring it to Tasia, they all like mm, 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 mm. they were. Yeah. I feel like they were just just having the conversation, which we see eventually when they had all that in the end of the episode but like if her and Teja was that much of a friend why didn't she just shoot a little text message to her or something because clearly she got TV. <laughs> it's not good for TV if she does that she was she over there texting it. she was over there texting uh Nick though yeah but that is after everything blew it up but mm. for it to be the initial thing, that's not good for TV. We need to have this shit. She's here. We are filming. We need to have this shit on camera. I know she's not a main cast member, but why would I text you if you're already in the house and I can just go to you and no, say, No, I mean, right? I mean, like, after when she tried to have uh, the conversation with Tasia. Yeah, but and Tasia that was, was like, when mm -hmm. they were in separate vehicles. Yeah. And then that's when Nick was the one who said that. Because Nick was the one who initiated that text message and said that Tasia feels some type of way of what just went down. True, so it's true. not like she, they were always texting and then she just decides to want to do this face to face. Why not? But even she could have sent a message at the table then. How about that? Yeah, because even that was a bit <laughs> awkward to me. It like, was awkward. Everybody like, else was looking was like, like, right, we need I to chat. Like, she just yeah. got up from her seat, and she went over there. At the table. I was expecting <laughs> when she said, we need to chat, she would have probably pulled her right. from the table and, and tried to have the conversation with her. Yeah. But then she just stood at the table where and I'm like, sure first everybody First of all, sit the hell down. You are not a main, like, a cast main cast member. member. Like, what the hell are you doing? She said she want to be a part of the cool kids, so she says, I'm going to stir some drama. I mean, up needs to put her in check, like. Mm -mm. He's not even she's not a, she's in not, check, so why would he put her in check? And I don't feel like she's like a part of the main friend group too. So like this is not your job. She doesn't boo. even go here. And she's already <laughs> and she's already being messy. Right. Like we already see you in two episodes before where you were acting very judgmental and acting like you what the hell am I getting myself into? So for you now to come and say, let me sit with these girls and hear them speak, keep your mouth shut if it right. was me. And I know these persons really don't feel me and they probably think that I have a racism bone in my body or whatever. I would sit in that group, keep my mouth shut, nod my head, smile right. and look to the side. You say and look none everywhere. of your business. And get up from there. And I probably, yes, will tell my partner this was what was being discussed. But that's the only place it's going. I don't give a hell about going to know Tej or whatever her name is to discuss. Yeah, and it comes out being be very discussed. malicious. I ain't going to right. lie. She will see the shit on camera. There's no need for me to bring it up to her. So right, it's what? all going here. Yeah. It's all going here But on TV. in her defense, if she's really close friends with this girl, then it will create a drama in her friendship. Because if me and you are friends, someone was saying something about whatever reason, and then you watch it back on TV, see that I was literally there for the conversation, and I never said anything to you about it. Because guess what? I don't want to be messy. No, yes, it will then cause drama between the friendship because it's like, how the hell were you sitting there? In yeah. the middle of it. Not like you were on the sideline observing. You were literally in the middle of the conversation and you said nothing to me. So I can see where Natalie felt like, again, I don't know how close she was with Teja, but she they yeah. made it sound like she's close with her. They're friends. 
So I can see why she felt like she needs to say to her because obviously this is being filmed. So she don't want to basically cause a friction in their friendship. But Natalie, um, I think they should have handed her handed it to her in the kitchen. Like when Nick decided to confront, what were your thoughts on those conversations that took place? Because he went one by one with each person to let them mm-hmm. say what they needed to say. What were your thoughts on the responses or the answers that Noel and Shanice gave? Before we even get to Bria, but what was the responses that you got from Shanice and Noel? Well, before when Nick was having a conversation with um, Preston before they all got there, and Preston mm-hmm. was like, he hates the idea of them in the house going to other persons, talking to other persons about other persons instead of bringing it to the person. Mm-hmm. And like, we already know that's a recipe for disaster because words get changed. It's this good for reality that. TV. But it's, it's good and it's fun. Disaster. But like, yeah. in like living the, the, the life that they're living right now in the house, it's like crazy because really and truly none of them. Bria, Chinese, or uh, Noel, none of them said that he was touchy-feely with them. Right. It was like what they have observed. Mm -hmm. But how Natalie brought it back was like he was touchy-feeling with those three. Yeah. When it was just with, uh, I think it was with uh, with Jordan Jordan and and, and Summer. And which he already have the conversation. So me, that's why I see where he's so angry as hell. I would be pissed because like... (laughs) We had the conversation before with the, all the parties that are being involved, uh, and so. then for this to be bring brought back up, and then it, it's just yeah. very malicious. And then in the fact that his girlfriend was there and all of that, like, of course I would be livid as fuck. Yeah, Mm-mm. but I don't know. Like this shit was just unnecessary. It was not warranted. It was, it was not called yeah. for. I don't know if there was just not enough drama going on and we're about to wrap filming so they felt like they needed to. Not only thought she was going to get a little camera time. That's what she yeah. thought. Or she I thought like that she was the going fact to be that was to like... for main cast next season. So she's mm-hmm. telling people this show. Yeah. Although I act like I don't really want to be here, but I really want to be here. So she let me really just does want to. Mm-hmm. That's why Thaja was like, depends. And then she was like, nah, she don't want to have the conversation. It was like, yes. That's good. Yeah. Bitch, go sit your ass down. Then we got <laughs> Bria coming downstairs with Milo. And this is where we got oh, Nick who says that what, 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 what was being said. And this is where she said she has never said that he was handsy. We saw mm-hmm. where they wrote the tape back where she said that if he was in that state of mind and someone really wanted yeah. to F, he would probably do so based on how he's operating. Then we got where she said that she never said handsy, but he does become flirty with her. Well, this is now news to me. And when we saw the flashbacks, yeah. I did not get flirty. I was trying from to, it. but like I wasn't getting much from it. Like he was really being flirty. Everybody was like, even when they were on the yacht, everybody was like, go Bria, shaking that yeah. non existing ass. Like, girl, sit your ass down, talking about flirting with you. To be honest. But, with <laughs> but this is where I'm like, this is what Nick is trying to say. There's nothing there. Yeah, because he was I saying it's far fetched when it comes to her. I'm yeah, sure it's here like a little there, sister. Why is this? Why is this a topic of conversation? It's like right. me bringing up something. There's no truth to it. There's nothing there, and, and I'm like, just going to bring it up for bringing it up. Yeah, and what's why the end game we, here? And this is damaging to persons. Yeah, if there this was is no damaging cameras, to their relationship. Yeah, if there was no cameras and there was no flashbacks or anything to show as a proof, it's now my word against yours, and yeah. you're saying stuff and. You're going to down down track and say, well, I'm not saying this, but it's just that, that, this. And I'm like, what, why are you bringing it up in the first place? Yeah, like, but what's the end game? What's yeah. the end game here? So oh. I did not like that. And then now she started to flip the script to say, why is he talking to her like that? And she starts to walk off with Milo that in her typical hand. Typical Bri- Bria, she ready to typical storm Bria. out. And then she was like, let it out, let it out. And I'm like, girl, Wait, I think let... you're doing something here, but it's not, it's not connecting it's that was crazy, gonna... though. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else happened in this episode that it's worth talking about. Um, anything Those else? Are basically, the main highlights I felt yeah. like it was, though. Um, yeah. um, the couples are gone except Natalie. Um, we see that next week is actually the season finale, so yeah. I'm like, oh shit, what am I going to watch now? <laughs> but we got a reunion for this season, so thankfully we will have a reunion to look forward to. Don't know how many parts there is to the reunion, but knowing 
probably I will assume the most three they will get is that no, I don't think they reserve two to three parts. Part. Probably two parts, maybe yeah. the most. Yeah. Who knows a one part because at this point. <laughs> but that was the actual episode. There was nothing more highlighted that I think that needs to be discussed. Um was there anything else you wanted to share in regards? Nothing regard much really. I mean probably just sign so it's like kudos to um summer <laughs> for like trying the um the no drinking road and, bro, and trying yeah. to solve her problem. That is very mature and I like yeah, yeah I like that for her. I mean what this is a summer that I liked. What are you looking forward to the season finale? What are you looking to see or um, see happen? For them to wrap all this shit up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wrap, let's wrap it up. Um, wrap it up. I know there's going to be more drama, especially with uh, Amir. I guess they wanted him to like get Natalie in check for real, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one brought her into the group. She's not a part of the friend group. So like she's not even attending the school. She was yeah. supposed to probably yeah. brought it to him, Amir, and like make him decide no, if he wanna she like she should have just brought her luggage to the airplane or wherever she came from and take her ass back home. She should not brought no drama to him. Bring Damn her luggage right. back home. When you saw the rest of the the, the plus ones and the, yeah. the partners packing their bags, she to head was back supposed home, to leave that day. You should have got that cue. What I need to be hell? packing my bag to leave as well. She and Simon. Pack I don't your know bags why the producers go. didn't come and tap her on the shoulder. And like, tap her on the shoulder and say, "Girl, it's time for you to come, come, come. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Your time is up. <laughs> we don't have any more screen time for right. you. Get up and go." Crazy. I would love to see what next um episode well the season finale brings. I really do hope that the reunion the fact that the season finale is airing this Sunday, I will assume that sometime this week we will get the trailer for the reunion. Yeah. So we will get to see if that reunion even brought anything. I just know that I remember where I think Amir or I think Preston posted on their social after the reunion stating that there was some other stuff that they really wanted to get into, but I guess they didn't get to go into it on the reunion. So I wonder what that we'll is. See what they got to address on the reunion. But guys, let me know in the comment section what were your thoughts on the episode. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you next week as we'll recap the season finale of Summer House Martha's Vineyard. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.